yesterday, I talked to Robert Mugabe about his position as leader of this most active group of guerrillas and about his ideas for the new Zimbabwe and the chances of it coming about from this British-run conference. What kind of society do you want to see established in Zimbabwe after independence? I would like to see a society based on the, the principle of non-racialism. Uh, in other words, the present system whereby land uh, is divided according to race, the economy is worked, out, uh, worked according to race, society as a whole is established on, uh, uh, on the principle of uh, racial blocks. This I would like to see go. Do you want to see a fully socialist or socialized society? Oh, yes, surely. We are dedicated to socialism. This we have said. This uh, every African delegation here has said. And uh, we hope uh, we will have a socialist state. Would the blacks, for instance, go on owning small farms and businesses? Well, one has got to uh, uh, allow here for uh, a measure of adaptation of um, socialist principles. You cannot start off by uh, taking control of everything, of any uh, individual uh, uh, enterprise. You've got to, to make some allowance for a start for some form of enterprise. Looking ahead, do you believe <clears throat> that Rhodesian majority rule involves free elections at some point? Yes, of course. Why not? We are fighting for democracy. We would like to see a democratic state established in Zimbabwe. And this means a state based on the wishes of the majority of the people. The best way in which people can uh, demonstrate their uh, uh, participation uh, in democracy is by voting. And elections are quite a necessity. Do you suppose that Ian Smith and the whites at, represented at this conference are going to accept black control of the army and the police during the interim stage? If they accept the fact of the transfer of power, I don't see why they shouldn't accept the fact that this power must be as effective as any power can be in any state. And this effectiveness can only come from the fact of control by our forces. But do you believe that the whites in Rhodesia will accept that? Whether they will accept it or not is immaterial to us, really. They, uh, they have to accept it in as much as they, they must accept uh, political domination. But surely it is material to you in the sense that if they don't accept it, this conference breaks down. Well, if, if it breaks down, it will have been because they are not prepared to transfer power fully to us. We want a total transfer of power. What role do you see for yourself in the future Zimbabwe? Well, for myself, I see a role assigned to me by my people, by my party, first and foremost. Whatever my party asks me to do, I shall do. Will you, as someone who's not had direct military experience, who's not a, a, a fighter, mm -hmm. be in a strong position to lead and to direct a victorious guerrilla movement? Why? Why not? Uh, our our guerrilla movement is not divorced from the generality of the people. I have mentioned already that the guerrillas are part of the body of our population in Zimbabwe. The people who are fighting the war are, on the one part, trained people, on the other, untrained people. They all constitute the Zimbabwean army in a broad sense of the word. Some are feeding the guerrillas, some are showing, it the, showing them the way, some are raising uh, foodstuffs and clothing for them. All these people are engaged in the struggle. They all matter to us.